Good evening and welcome out to tonight's Tackle Trading onboarding webinar. This is Coach Frank. I will be taking you through the Tackle Trading website this evening, showing you around a little bit, hopefully giving you a better idea of who we are and what we do, show you where you can find things, help you get a better idea of what our schedule looks like for our pro members. So with, uh, without further ado, let's dive, uh, dive right on in. At the end of the day, for me at least, tackle trading is just a place where a whole bunch of traders have come together to help one another out. And while nobody can ever make my trades for me, nor can I make my trades for anybody else, we can certainly uh, certainly share ideas. Uh, if I'm you know need some help on a strategy, uh, you know I'm sure there's someone around here more than happy to help uh, me with it. If you are having some struggles with a strategy and I can help, I'm more than happy to help. And so it really is just a community of traders, like-minded traders who kind of tackle these markets together. As I'm explaining tackle trading, though, I like to break it down into three areas. The things that you can do on your own, that's going to be things like the courses and some of the tools in our trade center, our blogs, our trade journals, things of that nature things that you can do with others uh, or the schedule, right? The, what are we doing and when are we doing it type of stuff. And then lastly, our weekend reports where we share ideas with members of our community. So that's going to kind of be the way we'll come at it here this evening, breaking it down into those three core areas. Uh, before we kind of talk about that first area, or I guess as we start to talk about that first area, right now I'm just on the home page of the Trade Center. And this is sort of a what's up at Tackle Trading page. You know, what's our next show, most recent post, most recent report, little watch list that you can build for yourself, most recent tweet, little mini calendar, replay of one of our YouTube shows, where you are in any of the courses that you might be taking. So really just kind of a what's up at Tackle Trading page. You will also in here find a link to tradingjustice.com each week. Trading Justice puts out the TJ podcast. It's a really good listen. It's a lot of fun. It's very informative. Definitely worth uh, incorporating into your weekly routine. In my personal opinion, you can catch it right over at tradingjustice.com. And again, this will, link will take you right over there. Uh, or you can also listen to it on, on any of your favorite podcast providers. That is the Trading Justice podcast each week. There is also a really nice monthly newsletter they do over at Trading Justice that is very much worth uh, the read as well. So that hopefully can make your weekly routine a little bit better. You will also at the very top find a link to the Huddle. The Huddle podcast is a quick, you know, short, under 10-minute podcast that comes out at the end of the trading day. Just keeping our team apprised of the top five stories in the market that day uh, in a, you know, quick, easy, and unbiased manner. So the huddle is each day after the market closes. Again, you can catch it just go going directly into that link and listen to it over there, or you can catch it on any of your favorite providers. So hopefully between the huddle and the Trading Justice podcast, we can make your daily and weekly trading routine a, a little bit better. Of course, the thing that really jumps out to me, at least, when I think about the things that you can do on your own are going to be courses. And we do have several courses uh, available to all of our pro members, uh, including our seven-step guide to trading. This is a free course. So if you're just checking out Tackle Trading and want to see kind of what some of our stuff does look like on the back end, certainly encourage you to take some time to, to work through that course. This course will do a couple of things. In some ways, it'll introduce you to the Tackle Trading way. Right. I mean, there's a lot of us here at Tackle Trading and there's no two traders that are exactly the same, I don't think. But from a foundational level, I think we all kind of approach the markets in a similar manner from starting at the top of the markets, taking that top down approach, you know, market uh, indexes into sectors and industries and commodities, matching our strategies to to fit our bias of that chart or of those market conditions. We are certainly watch list traders here at Tackle Trading. So how do we find and you know prep those trades ahead of time so we're ready to take action if we get the signal that we need? Of course, planning, placing, managing the trade, and of course, journaling that trade. If you are a newer trader in particular, I think you'll find this course very, very helpful. Uh, it should give you a little bit of structure and a little bit of order. You're, if you're a newer trader, you probably work hard, but probably aren't as efficient as you would like to be. That's at least what most of us say as newer traders. Uh, if you're a veteran trader, I imagine there will be a couple of things in here that maybe can make your you know, personal routine a little bit better as well. It is a relatively short course, about two hours uh, or so, uh, give, or, give or take. So that is the seven-step guide to trading. Of course, as traders 
charts are very important to us, right? Our decisions are, you know, made based off of where that stock is on the chart. That's going to determine, you know, where we're getting in, setting stop losses, targets, scaling out, all of that fun stuff. So the better we are at chart reading, of course, the better we're going to be as traders. Uh, technical analysis 101 is going to focus on just that, right? Charts, charts, and more charts, uh, you know, pattern, trend, support, resistance, right? All of that good stuff. Um, every one of us, I've never met somebody who was 100% when it came to technical analysis, myself included. Every single one of us can get a little bit better at reading those charts. And even just getting a little bit better can be a big, big difference. So I certainly would take some time to work through the technical analysis 101 course. The options 101 course is really going to focus on the option contract itself. You know, what happens when you buy or sell that call or that put contract? What are the factors that are making it change in value? Uh, how do we check liquidity? All of that good stuff. It's not going to focus tremendously on this strategy or that strategy. We'll do that in our playbook and we'll take a look at that here in a couple. Uh, but the more we truly understand anything, and options certainly would fit into this, the more we understand why it's doing the things that it's doing, the easier it should be for us to wrap our head around whatever strategy it is we're trying to work with. So if you are you know, interested in options, if you're newer to options, even if you're inter you know, intermediate, maybe you've been you know, buying calls and puts for, for months now, probably something to learn in that options 101 course for you. If you've ever been interested in learning more about the futures or the Forex markets, and you know that's one of those things that some people are and some people aren't, and it's really cool either way, but I've found over the years, a lot of people are interested but don't really know where to start. Uh, in a lot of ways, they're very similar to the stock market, but in other ways, there's definitely some differences, right? And we do need to understand those differences. Those are both very leveraged markets. So understanding what's going on over there is you know absolutely important. If you've ever found yourself, you know, I'm kind of interested, but I don't really know where to start. Uh, this can be a great place to start to kind of give you, you know, some information of, of what's going on within those marketplaces to see if it's something that you want to pursue. And if it is great, and if it isn't great, right? That's what I love about trading. We don't have to trade everything. We only have to trade the things that we like and want to trade. But I always want us to feel like it's a choice and I'm not, I'm not a Forex trader, but I know, uh, you know, quite a bit about Forex and I personally feel like it's a choice that I don't trade Forex and, and that makes me feel better at least. <laughs> so uh, both the futures and Forex courses can be a great place to start if you're interested in either or both of those markets. No matter what you're trading, no matter what your time frame, no matter what your vehicle, no matter what we do need to have very clean systems and rules in place. And I think everybody agrees with that. I've never talked to anybody who said, no, you don't just flip coins or you know, YOLO it or whatever. Uh, but it's one thing to say it, another thing to do it. Uh, and so the system development course is really designed to get you to think about your trading from a systematic perspective. It will pay huge dividends. It, you will love the course. You'll get a lot out of it. And that is true if this is your first time ever even thinking about trading or if you've been doing this for years and years or anything in between. I cannot recommend the system development course enough. Every trader can get something out of it. I personally think that for most of it, it's a, it's a little light switch. Once you kind of turn it on, it's just on. And it really will change your approach to the markets if you truly come at it from a system perspective. So those pro our courses available to all of our pro members can work through whenever you are ready to do so. It's not a raise, you can do it tonight, you can do it six months from now, right? Uh, we also have a handful of premium systems that we uh, have available to our team. Uh, while we're not gonna focus too much on them, just to quickly let you know a little bit about them. Uh, it's a one-time purchase. The system is yours for life. Once a month, we get together with members of that team in a mastermind group. The Tackle 25 is a covered call-based system on a select group of stocks that we put together each year with the intent of cash flowing. The Step System is our approach to swing trading, just standing for stop loss target entry and position size. The Cash Flow Condors is another cash flow system, this time using credit spreads on the Russell 2000 Index. And the Bear Market Survival Guide kind of exactly what it sounds like, you know, protecting ourselves from bearish turns in the market and dealing with those turns 
once we establish them. Uh, if you'd like any more information about any of those systems, you can find it over in the store tab. Feel free to send us an email to team at tackletrading.com. Be happy to get you some more information on any of those products. So uh, those are our courses. Uh, we also do regular blog content, whether it's more charting in the tales of a technician blog, more, uh, you know, options in the option theory blog, hearing from our tremendous team of female traders in the women in trading blog, working with coach Greg over in the rookie corner, taking concepts kind of from the ground up, if you will. These are going to be relatively short reads, but it's another way that we can you know, reach out, uh, hopefully teach a little bit, share ideas with our community throughout the week. So I would definitely encourage you to make room in your weekly routine for those blogs. I think you will very much enjoy them. Over in the Trade Center, you're going to find uh, in the drop down itself, you're going to find a link to our events calendar, which we'll circle back to before we're done here when we kind of talk about the schedule, a link to the trading journals. You'll find the trading journal as well as the, the Theta Research tool where you can build and prep your cash flow trades out. Journaling your trades is I think mandatory uh, and it, you know, every trade that we make is data if we let it to be. And if we have that data, we can make targeted changes based off of what we are experiencing, not what somebody else is, not what the textbook says, but what we are going through. So make sure you are journaling your trades. If you are already very happy to, uh, to hear that, but you'll find the downloads to the trading journals here in this link. You will find a link to our trading glossary as well. But what I want to come into right now is the Tackle Trading Playbook. And this is where we're going to have all of our strategies and the rules for those strategies. We break our strategy selection into three core areas based off of the option Greeks, Delta, Theta, and Vega. Delta is our directional playbook, right? I think the stock's going from 50 to 55 or from 75 to 70, right? So that's going to be things like buying or selling stock long options, long calls, long puts, debit spreads, diagonal spreads, basically delta equals direction or movement. I think this is going from point A to point B. Then our theta playbook, that's our cash flow side of things. That's where we're selling those options and bringing in that premium and taking advantage of the one guarantee, which is that today is going to pass. That's going to be things like covered calls, naked puts, credit spreads, iron condors, then there's the Vega or the volatility playbook. These bi-directional uh, type of plays where we're playing into the volatility. Earning season's a great time to think about these type of strategies, in my opinion, where we've all seen some pretty crazy things uh, on a company after it you know, misses or hits its earnings, right? Uh, maybe based off of its history, we do believe there's a good reason to think that it's going to move a lot one way or the other. We can't know if it's going to have an earnings beat or not or what the response will be, but maybe based off of the stock's history, we can think, you know what, it usually moves a heck of a lot. Let's build a trade that profits if it does that again, right? So those are going to be the type of strategies, long straddle, the short strangles, things of that nature. In all of these, you will find a video uh, thoroughly going over the strategy. You know, hey, what is the strategy? Why would we choose the strategy? What are our rules for the strategy? Uh, we will be using an example on TOS as well. So if you need some help from an order entry perspective and are using the Thinkorswim platform, uh, that can be helpful as well. There's also a little downloadable cheat sheet so you can e have easy access to the rules. Hey, what am I buying? What am I selling? What's my time rule? What's my delta rule? All of that good stuff. So you can have easy access to uh, those rules. You will also notice that on all of them, we have something between zero and plus or a minus three. And we just always want to match the strategy to our read of the situation, right? And to what the conditions of, of the stock or the market are. So if you kind of think about zero is neutral, plus or minus one would be slightly bullish or slightly bearish, plus or minus two would be, you know, bullish or bearish or moderately bullish or bearish, however you want to word that. And then three or minus three would be very bullish or very bearish, right? If I think a stock's going to, you know, really have a good run on this breakout, I'm going to probably want to build a trade that reflects that. Whereas your read might be, I think it's going to, it's going to be a slow grind to the upside, Frank. Uh, we want to match the strategy to the situation. And this is just kind of letting you know where we see these strategies along that spectrum. So that is the tackle trading playbook. Again, you'll find that in the trade center. If you go into the trade center itself, just click on the trade center. And that's where we started 
this evening. Uh, in addition to kind of the what's up at Tackle Trading, there are going to be some different trader tools in here as well. Uh, the market skyline, you're just going to find all of the charts for all of the, the big stuff, right? The indexes, the S&P futures, the Dow, NASDAQ, RUD, Bitcoin, the major commodities, gold, silver, crude, natural gas, copper, uh, and the sector spider ETFs. These are all important parts of a daily routine if you're thinking about the, that top-down analysis approach that we believe in here at Tackle Trading. It's important to work through these. It doesn't have to be on this page, but what we wanted to do was have an easy place where folks could easily get in and work through all those charts very, very quickly as they're going through that daily routine. There is also a link to the Finviz heat maps here. This will bring you to finviz.com, just the S&P 500 for the day, what did it look like? Where was the strength? Where was the weakness? Just to kind of get a little bit of a different uh, view of that top-down analysis. Uh, this, you know, in Finviz, you can do some customization. You can look at the weekly, monthly, quarterly, yearly performance, certain fundamental ratios, how it performed on its earnings date, uh, et cetera. So it's just another way to kind of get that visual of the day that was in the market. So that is the heat map button right there. There is a news aggregator. This is going to go through some of the you know bigger financial websites. Uh, it goes through Market Watch, Wall Street Journal, uh, the CNBC. The Times are probably in here, not too far away. Uh, just to kind of go through, grab the headlines again, get them all in one place, so I can easily kind of roll through and read the stories that interest me. Uh, it's really designed to to save you some bouncing around, save you some clicks all of that fun stuff that kind of comes along when you're looking for you know, news uh, commentary on the market through some of these uh, different websites. So it can be a real time saver from, from that perspective. There's a link to the economic calendar so you can be aware of, of what's on the economic schedule for the day or, or for the upcoming week. Another link to our report, which we'll talk about here in a few, and you can also find them up top here. There's another link to our trade journals. If we come into this one, Again, we looked at them on the drop down itself, which will get you where you want to go. But if you go through this way, there is going to be a video tutorial. If you need a little bit of help on that trade journal, there's no shame in that. Uh, not all of us are, are super spreadsheet savvy. Uh, I speak from experience. I certainly am not. So there is a little bit of a you know tutorial that can help you out. If you come into it this way, you can download the journals in here as well, whether it's the trade journal, the theta research tool, or the portfolio journal to help you kind of stay on top of everything overall within uh, your trading account. A link to the compounding gains calculator to remind you of the compounding power of money. Another link to a chart if for whatever reason you ever need one. Another link to our trading glossary as well as our search function, which you can also find up here in this magnifying glass. The search function is pretty smart. So if you're ever looking for something it can be a great place to start. Never, never hesitate to reach out to us. We'll be happy to find it for you, uh, or you know, put a, uh, you know, or maybe it'll give us a video idea if we don't have some content on it. Uh, but a lot of times, just something as simple as you know, what, hey, I want some information on covered calls. Well, let's just give her a try. Uh, just throw in covered call, hit enter. I'll come down here and tell it to show me all the results. And I'm going to find probably quite a bit of stuff. Uh, you know, trading labs, uh, options theory blogs, uh, blogs, uh, courses, uh, shows. So just a lot of information very quickly on a subject that maybe I wanted to dive in into a little bit more detail. So the search function is, again, this little magnifying glass up here. So that's really going to kind of highlight that first phase of our plan here tonight, the things that you can do on your own. Uh, hopefully that gives you a better idea of, of kind of what all of this uh, is thus far. Now let's kind of move on to the schedule and things that you can do with other members of the team. I mean, one thing, and I've, you know, talked to, you know, personally, a lot of members of our community, uh, you know, uh, in, in person at one time or another, and pretty much we all kind of come to the same conclusion that, that trading is in some ways lonely because you're doing it on your own. Usually, you don't know a whole lot of people in your quote unquote normal life that want to talk trading with you, right? That's trading is one of those things that either, you know, I, I could talk about it all day, but 
most people don't want to talk about it at all. And there's not a lot in the middle, right? There's not a lot of people. Yeah, sometimes I like to talk a little trading. Uh, it's nice to be around other traders and, and folks that are going through the same stuff that you are, that are interested in the same type of stuff that you are. Uh, and so being part of the team and getting to know other traders, I think is a, is a big, big deal. Let's kind of start with the daily uh, schedule or the, the market day schedule, I guess. Uh, and for that, we're going to start with our traders lounge. Every market morning at 11 a.m. Eastern, we're going to get together here with members of our team at Tackle Trading in our Traders Lounge. It's a you know very laid back atmosphere where any members of our community can come in, bounce ideas around with the team, ask questions, get help, whatever that might mean. Maybe you just got a great trade setup you wanted to share and see if other folks are seeing it the same way you are. Maybe you're struggling with, you know, managing your debit spreads, you know, maybe your daily routine is a mess. Maybe you are struggling with managing your watch list. Maybe you've got a trade going that you want to bounce around some management techniques on it. I mean, who knows, right? I mean, at the end of the day, we all have questions sometimes and we do need to have a place where we can actually engage with one another and get the help that we need. And that's exactly what that Trader's Lounge is designed to do. It's every market morning at 11 a.m. Eastern. We are not going to regularly record the lounge but we will regularly record snippets of the lounge and get them posted in here. If there are things that can be just as useful a, a year from now as they are you know, today type of stuff. If uh, your schedule is such that you just are at work, you know, Monday through Friday when the lounge is going, but you have a question, you know, let us know. We'll always try our best to accommodate you to get a little snippet, get it recorded so we can get you the answer and the help that you need and get it posted in here so you can catch it at a more convenient time. So, you know, always, you know, feel free to reach out to us. That's exactly what we're here for. So that's the Trader's Lounge. If the market's open, so is the lounge uh, at 11 a.m. Eastern. And then shortly after that, we're going to head over to our YouTube channel for the Tackle Trading Halftime Report at 1230 Eastern. That's uh, a live look into the market where we're really doing that top-down analysis, going through that daily routine. What's going on in the market today? How is it impacting our charts? Uh, the different components of the market, be it the S&P, the NASDAQ, gold, crude oil, Bitcoin, different sectors, stocks in the news, all of that good stuff as we're going through that daily routine. That is live on YouTube at 12.30 p.m. Eastern. Of course, being on YouTube, uh, once the stream is over, it will populate to our channel if that is an inconvenient time for you to watch. So that's every single market day. Uh, if the market's going, you can rest assured that we will be here with you in the lounge at Tackle Trading and over on our YouTube channel in the halftime report. We also have our evening schedule, and we have a couple of shows that uh, we've got uh, that we do each week on the weekly. Uh, and uh, let's start with the coaches show. At 8:30 p.m. Eastern on Tuesday nights, we do our coaches show. We're a couple days into the market. It's Tuesday night now. So it gives us an opportunity to do a little bit of a market skyline. Hey, is anything standing out? Any particular sector or industry really lining up for, uh, for some, some good you know, price movement potentially? Uh, what's going on in the market, right? So it kind of gives us an opportunity to do a little bit of a market skyline. But what it also does, and, and while I like doing that stuff, what I really love about the Coaches Show is it allows us to – talk trading with our team, uh, talk about things that we do and use and are going through as traders uh, in current market conditions, right? With members of our team, that might be, you know, things like strategy selection, pattern, a certain pattern in the market might be happening. Uh, maybe it's, uh, you know, watch list, maybe it's prepping for earnings, maybe it's indicators. I mean, there's a heck of a lot of things that we can talk about as traders. And what I really like about the coaches show is it allows us to have a, a deep conversation on one of those things. A lot of times, you know, when someone asks me a question about moving averages, you know, I could go on and on for hours, but I usually answer it in five minutes because that's just kind of how we are as people, right? And this coach's show really allows us to take a much deeper dive on any of these different type of subjects. I would personally consider the coach's show the flagship show here at Tackle Trading. So that's Tuesday, 8.30 Eastern. That is live, but is also recorded and archived. So if you can't make it or if you need to rewatch it or if you want to watch a previous episode on a subject that you find interesting, very easy to do. You can find all the archives there in that link. Then on Thursday nights, again at 8.30 p.m. Eastern, we do our cash flow club. This is going to be much more narrowly focused on those cash flow option strategies, right? The covered calls, credit spreads, naked puts, iron condors of the world. 
building and managing those type of trades. So it's going to be a little bit more narrowly focused than the coaches show in that regard. But if you are a cash flow trader or if you have interest in becoming one or incorporating some concepts of cash flowing into your personal trading plan, definitely going to be a place where you're going to get lots of good ideas. Just like the coaches show, it is recorded, it is archived. You can, you know, we love to have you live, but schedules are schedules, and and we certainly, certainly get it. So that uh, is our Thursday night show. That is the Cash Flow Club on Wednesdays. And for this, I'm going to hop over into the events calendar for a second. We over here on our YouTube channel at seven Eastern, we do our Trade Masters webinar. We in our Trade Masters webinar, a couple of coaches will come together with some trade ideas to bounce off of one another and members of our community who are hanging out with us live. And uh, they'll vote on whose trade ideas they like the best. And at the end of it, the victor is declared the Trade Master for the week. It's a lot of fun. What it really is for is to bounce ideas around and, and share trade ideas with, uh, with one another, right? Uh, you know, there's no bad way to find a trade idea at least as far as I'm concerned. So we're doing that here on our YouTube channel at 7 Eastern. Then we are heading over to our Wednesday night lounge at 8.30 Eastern here at Tackle Trading as well. That uh, is going to give us an opportunity to go in a little more detail on any questions that members of our team might have on any of the ideas that we bounce around in the Trade Masters webinar. Also going to give folks that maybe are at work during you know market hours and can't ever really get into that you know morning lounge and get their their questions answered gives them a chance maybe you can make it on a wednesday night so that's going to be at 8 30 p.m eastern for the wednesday night uh traders lounge here at tackle trading we have a tremendous team of female traders with us at tackle trading they get together about once a month they just did one this past week in their women in trading mastermind group if you are a woman in trading, I would be on the lookout for that, and I would definitely take part in the next one. It does uh, tend to be uh, once a month. I don't get to go, so I don't exactly know what happens there, but I do know the team. Uh, I've known some of uh, our uh, our you know team members for years now. I feel like I, I know them very well. I know they're having a good time in there. I know they're getting a lot of good work done. So if you're a woman in trading or if you know uh, a woman in trading or a woman who might be interested in trading, Definitely would encourage you to be on the lookout for that. We'll make sure that we highlight it as we get close to that event. On Monday night, we do our onboarding here on our YouTube channel just to walk people through the website, folks that are new to us, folks that are checking us out uh, for maybe the first time or have hung around with us on YouTube, want to see a little bit more about what we do on the back end. No two are tremendously different from one another, but you are always welcome. You think it would be helpful as well. We've recently uh, added what we call trading labs. We have three different trading labs. These are a premium subscription service. They're not part of the pro membership, but just so you know what they are and where you can get more information if you'd like it. Uh, the, we have three different labs with Coach Mark, Coach Emily, and Coach Tyler. They'll get together with their team, uh, you know, each uh, each week uh, in uh, in a meeting, and also stay connected throughout the week in a private Discord server. If you'd like a little bit more information about those trading labs, you can click on the link. You can get it into the store. You of course can send us an email to team at Tackle Trading, and we'll be more than happy to get you some more information. So, in maybe an overly simplified way to think about the schedule, is the morning lounge is for questions. It's for your questions. It's where we'll talk about what our team needs us to talk about. There are no questions that, that are bad questions, right? Uh, it's a question it's, it, until it isn't, right? So the lounge is really designed for that. The halftime report is really designed for that daily routine, that top-down approach, that staying on top of the market. And the evening shows really allow us to take a much deeper dive, kind of put on that teaching hat a little bit, if you will, and discuss things in much more detail, walk through things with members of our team. And while that is definitely an over, overly simplified way to think about it, there's certainly going to be crossover in all of them. Hopefully that can keep you, uh, you know, organized uh, a little bit as you're getting to know us. And if you're ever, you know, lost, the event calendar can be a great place to, to find the link, to see what's up on the schedule today and all of that type of stuff. 
So that is going to be the schedule. Now let's talk about the weekend reports. On Fridays, uh, as the markets winded down and well into the close, we all get together as a group of coaches here at Tackle Trading and what we call our scouting report meeting. We talk markets, we talk sectors, commodities, currencies, trade setups, all of that fun stuff. And out of that meeting comes our weekend report. We'll get these delivered to the team by Saturday afternoon. So they have time to go through them before the market opens back up. The Tackle newsletter is starting at step one of that seven-step guide to trading. If you've taken it, or even if you just remember when we looked at it, that's starting at the top of the market, right? And that's exactly what we're doing each week in the Tackle newsletter. Uh, here in the newsletter, we're going to do a recap of the week that was, right? What happened? What were the storylines moving the market? All of that good stuff to so kind of catch up with the week that was. Uh, I'll look ahead to the upcoming uh, economic calendar for the week. Of course, we'll have a video kind of talking you through this stuff so you have a better idea of kind of where we're coming from on all of it. Uh, where the broad market is, the S&P 500, the Dow Jones, the NASDAQ, the RUT, and kind of you know how we're seeing it going into the upcoming week. There are the ETFs that track those uh, indexes. If you need them, DIA tracks the Dow, QQQ tracks the NASDAQ, IWM tracks the RUT, and SPY tracks the S&P 500. The uh, new, uh, new highs versus new low. What this is going to do is it's going to look at over 8,000 stocks to see you know, how many are hitting new highs versus how many are hitting new lows to get a better idea of the internals of the market. So if we start to see you know, things turn one way or the other, you know, when stocks as a whole are making new highs, things are pretty bullish, right? When they start to kind of go the other way, maybe they're not so bullish, right? It can be a really great way to look at the internals of the market. Each week, we are going to rank the sectors based off of what we are seeing on the stocks that make up those sectors. Uh, we're going to base this off of the sector spider ETFs. If you're unfamiliar with the sector spiders, uh, what they are, they're ETFs. They'll go into the S&P 500. They'll pull out stocks by sector. So XLY, for example, is discretionary. That's got Amazon, Home Depot, uh, Starbucks, McDonald's, uh, XLE, the energy sector, Chevron, Conoco, Exxon, right? Uh, XLU, the utility sector, so on and so forth. We're going to go into this, to the S&P 500. We're going to pull out just the stocks in that sector. The S&P is a weighted index. So we're going to, the, the ETF provider is going to weight these accordingly, right? But it's going to give us an isolated look at the sectors as a whole. So I can see that, wow, great breakout in discretionary, great price movement here today, right? Uh, over in, in real estate, rounding bottom, nowhere near the strength today, but we've kind of established some support, right? Energy has been super strong for the last several weeks and kind of hanging around up at some old resistance. So it's a really great way just from an ETF point of view to take a quick look at, hey, what, what sectors did what today? Where are they at? Where are their trends? Where are their technicals? All of that good stuff. We, If you want more information on those, uh, I would just go straight to the ETF provider. The website is just www.sectorspdr.com. And that is the uh, website for the ETF provider. You can take a closer look at who's in them, how it's weighted, all of that good stuff. If you would like to do so, our rankings are going to be based off of that, not the ETF itself, but the stocks that make up those ETFs. We're going to break our sectors into three core groups. We're going to have our growth sectors. That's going to be technology, that's discretionary and communications. We're going to have our cyclical areas. That's going to be industrials, financials, energy, and basic materials. And then we're going to have the defensive sectors, healthcare, staples, real estate, and utilities. So they'll be represented in blue, yellow, and purple-ish uh, as, uh, as, as where they kind of fit along those lines. Each week, we're going to rank them based off of what we're seeing on the stocks that make up those ETFs. And sometimes we'll be moving them up a little. Sometimes we'll be moving down a little bit. Sometimes we'll be leaving them the same, right? We're going to be taking on kind of the totality of the stocks in that sector. And again, not the ETF itself. Everything is going to be kind of put on a football field. And again, we can kind of talk you through this in the video. But, you know, between the 40s is going to be a neutral rating, maybe skewed a little bullish or a little bearish, but overall neutral on that, uh, that sector. Between 40 and 20 is going to be 
you know, slightly bullish or slightly bearish, uh, right? Uh, and then between the 20 and the goal line is going to be, you know, pretty bullish or pretty bearish. Uh, it is going to be extremely rare, if you ever see it at all, that we're going to put an entire sector in plus or minus three territory. That is more aggressive than we are. And quite frankly, that means literally every stock within that sector would almost have to look exactly the same, right? And that's almost never the case. You never say never, right? But it would be very rare. Well, it is very common to have a plus, plus or a minus three, a real aggressive view on an individual stock. Yeah, it is difficult for me personally to ever be that aggressive on an entire sector, even if I really, really like it or really, really don't like it. Uh, I don't think I have ever, nor do I think I personally ever will put an entire sector that aggressive. But we will be adjusting each week based off of what we are seeing. And again, we can kind of talk you through this, the thought process there in the video. Coach Matt also does a deep dive on Mondays on the Halftime Report talking sectors as well. We usually talk a little sectors on Friday when we're together in the Halftime Report as well. Uh, we've got our tech, uh, our rapid fire. At the end of our meeting, we just kind of share, you know, our favorite trade setups from the meeting that we just had. Uh, you know, which bearish setup do we like the best? Which bullish setup do we like the best? Just a fun way to end the meeting and kind of, you know, share some thoughts with members of the team. Another friendly reminder to match the strategy to the situation. If you think it's going to be a slow grind, buying an out-of-the-money call option is probably not the play, right? Just as an extreme example. <laughs> so there's also a pre-built scanner in here. So if a particular area has caught your attention, say, wow, you know, that was great, you know, follow through on that breakout in the discretionary sector. Wonder what some individual stocks within that space look like. This will bring you to a pre-built Finviz scanner. This is going to include what I consider personally trader-friendly stocks. And what I mean when I say that is these stocks have great liquidity. It's super easy to trade the shares. The shares are borrowable, so we can short them if that's what we're looking to do. They are all optionable. Just because a stock is optionable does not mean the options have great liquidity. So we always, of course, want to double check. I would say as a whole, these are you know, the group is fairly, you know, comfortable for me to trade options on, but there are certainly some that I would never trade options on in there. But whether it's through a stock trade or an option trade, if there's something I find in here that I like, I'm going to be able to build a trade on it one way or the other. It's just going to let me really just kind of do a quick bird's eye view of, of the stocks in this area, see if anything catches out. I mean, hey, I love Macy's, but Boy, that's a big, big candle. It's hard for me to want to chase that candle. A little bit uh, broke out of Home Depot's and Lowe's, you know, last week, kind of flying above that breakout channel, right? So I can just kind of roll through here, see if any of these charts set up uh, are, you know, worth taking a deeper look at. Obviously, I don't think we could even, you know, dream of putting together a trade on these little tiny bird's eye view charts. But I do think we can kind of get an idea of, oh, okay, I, I do kind of have interest in this. You know, I look at MGM, for example, and if I click on it, this will give me a little more chart to work with. I had this big candle on the breakout and really have kind of consolidated ever since. Again, I can't build a trade completely off of this, but I can kind of, you know, I know me and I know what kind of things I like and kind of think, you know what, if we ever took out that resistance, that would be interesting. I'm probably going to go take a closer look at this stock before I go to bed tonight to see if I want to add it to my watch list, prep a trade on it, whatever the case might be. So it can just be an easy way to quickly look through some stocks in that sector that's caught your attention. Once you've clicked on it, just make sure you go back to screener. That'll make sure it takes you right back to the actual screener page. So just to really save time, let's just see if there's anything that's catching our attention. So we'll of course have that built up for all of the different sectors. There will be the all world uh, ETF, the emerging market ETF, the dollar index uh, in here, just kind of take the, the big, big, big picture look at things. And of course, some final thoughts for the day. Uh, so that is the newsletter. It really is a great way to start your week. It really will help with that top down analysis and staying on top of the market. And that's exactly what it is designed to do. Uh, I want to focus on our stock and option report as well. Each week, we're going to put together watch lists based off of technicals for some swing trade ideas, right, uh, for either stock or option trades. I'm going to come to the options report. We're going to build them. The way we 
start building them is going to be the same. It's going to completely be built on technical analysis. Now, it might be in the stock report because the option liquidity isn't great. And, you know, I wouldn't trade options on it. Probably none of the other coaches would. Probably you wouldn't. But it's good trade setup, plenty of liquidity on the stock. Let's put it in there. Or maybe it's super low priced and it's not a great option candidate. You know, there's going to be different reasons why something's going to end up in one report versus the other. But in all of them is going to be built off of the technicals first and foremost. We're going to have a bullish watch list for the upcoming week and a bearish watch list for the upcoming week. Now, as you can imagine, in the option report, at least we as a team of coaches, and if any one of us says I wouldn't trade options, then it probably means nobody would. But if that's not the case, it can't make it to the options report. These things have options that we at least are comfortable trading with, plenty of liquidity and all of that good stuff. Uh, whereas the stock report, you can always check. Sometimes there will be great liquidity and, and doesn't hurt to check. And if it's there and you prefer to trade an option trade, great. If not, well, if you've ever been stuck in an illiquid option, you don't need me to tell you you don't want to do it again. And if you haven't, I wouldn't. Uh, it's not any fun. Uh, but we want to make sure we have some quality trade set up. So here's, you know, a breakout candidate on advanced auto part, you know, coming into the into the week. Another breakout candidate on ARRY here. We want to make sure we have technical setups that we found for ourselves as well as our team each and every week. They are going to be, unless noted otherwise, from a swing trading point of view, we're going to check you know, upcoming earnings and all of that fun stuff, hopefully to save you time from scanning the market each and every day. Uh, where they're going to be different, obviously, you know, the options report might be more inclined to trade option trades, but that doesn't mean I couldn't just go buy shares on the airy breakout. If that's the route I want to go, that's not going to be an issue at all. In the stock report, I am going to need to double check that option liquidity and make sure that I'm comfortable if I do want to build an option trade uh, on it. Uh, the discussion is going to be a little different too in, in the video, you know, in the stock report, we're going to have an opportunity to talk a little bit more uh, on technicals, on execution, on ideas as far as you know, target setting, stop loss placement, all of that fun stuff. Uh, option report, that stuff's every bit as important, and it's not that we won't talk about it. But we're also going to spend some of our time talking about strategy selection, right? Uh, you know, is this an opportunity for a a you know long call or to to you know start out with a bull call or maybe a diagonal or maybe a poor boy or maybe the premiums are just really nice maybe we should be looking to sell those options so we're going to talk a little bit more about the strategy selection side in the options because well there's that conversation to be had right that's not necessary in the stock report itself but we do want to make sure that everybody in our team including us has good quality technical watch list to work out of each and every week. These built-in charts, these are the, the trading view charts, just a couple of quick things uh, to make your experience a, a little easier, hopefully. If you want to get a little more chart, you can just hit this widget button and that's just gonna hide the watch list so I have more chart to work with, All right? Uh, if I smack it again, it'll bring that back for me. If I want to try to uh, do a little bit of, of deeper technical analysis. Say I'm going to do this on PayX here. I'll hide that. I've got a little more chart. I can zoom it. I can hold my left mouse button down and kind of zoom it back and forth like I'm doing. I can mouse wheel down to make it smaller, mouse wheel up to make it bigger. So I can kind of get this chart set up, you know, visually appealing, right? If I want to add an indicator or two, that's just going to be right up here. I usually personally just add the average true range and that is all. This is not going to save your indicator. So if you use several indicators, that's fine. Just be aware that if you add seven indicators and come, you know, close the page, come back later, they will no longer be there. Uh, if you want to change the size, I don't need to see all of this with the ATR. I'm just looking for the actual number itself. So I'm just going to hover my mouse over the barrier between volume and the indicator, hold the left mouse button down. I can scrunch it down or up however I need to, again, to get that size where I need it to be. My trend line tool is going to be right in here. This is where I can say, well, this is a, a little bit of a breakout that's happening here, or at least trying to happen here on PayX, right? Uh, so I can either do horizontal uh, supporter resistance, and while that may be super, super applicable right now, I can also draw the actual trend line itself uh, if I want to do so. If I don't need them, I'll just left click it, hit that trash bin, and that'll get rid of that for me. The default is swing trading, which is generally speaking going to be a you know a daily time frame, right? But there 
uh, we can scrunch down into intraday if we want to go take a look. Hey, what does this look like on the hourly chart? Or what does this look like on that longer term weekly chart? You can change your time frame of this little drop down right here. If for whatever reason you do prefer bar charts, you can switch it over to bar charts as well. Most traders these days seem to use candlesticks, but I know I personally know at least a couple of people who still do the bar chart. So uh, to each their own in that regard. One really cool thing uh, here on TradingView and these embedded charts is this one right here. And this is where we can actually prep out a trade either long or short. This is obviously a bullish little, little breakout. So this is a bullish position. So I'm going to go long position and I'm not going to get too specific, but I want to come in a little bit above today's high. I'm just going to say I'm entering right there. All right, so that would be my entry. Uh, and I've got a target price in mind of 125 on PayX. Let's just say that that's kind of where my head's at. Uh, this is going to let me know what my risk to reward looks like. For every dollar I'm risking, I am... Uh, have a profit potential of $1.62. Uh, I personally, like a lot of traders, require at least a two to one ratio to, to make a trade. Uh, and so that wouldn't work for me. Like, okay, well, that's just kind of where it started, right? It doesn't have to be there. What if I came right below today's low? Uh, well, that's going to put me just short of two to one. Not going to work for me. Well, what if I came into the intraday and, and said, you know what? I'm just going to go a little tighter on these guys because, you know, I need to. Maybe I'll go below the low on this candle here. That's going to give me that risk to reward that I like. Now, maybe I'm not comfortable doing that, right? Maybe I just look at that and say, you know what? That's just awful tight stop loss. Just not, I'm just going to have to pass, right? But it is going to allow me to, to you know, save me a ton of time. I can get a visual. I, it's going to do the math for me. I can tell it how much I want a position size. Uh, you can do that right in here in settings. You can say I want to, you know, to risk X amount. I've got a you know, $10,000 account. I want to, to risk, you know, $25 or a certain percentage of my account, and it'll do the position sizing for you. It really is a very, very helpful tool. Saves you a lot of time. And while I imagine you're going to do most of your technical analysis on your own trading platform, at least probably the first time you work through the stock and the auto report, you probably will be working through these. And I think it's an easy end of day routine just to quickly come in and say, okay, yeah, you know, didn't get into AAP. Do I still want to, uh, you know, yeah, I do. Or no, it's just move up too much. Or I didn't like Aerie in the first place. They didn't break out. Uh, I didn't like him in the first place for whatever my reasons are, I'm going to pass, but it can be a really good, you know, habit to get into just to kind of scroll through, see if anything likes, Ooh, yeah. Still like mosaic as this little high base probably could do a little prepping and I can just very quickly come in and say, okay, well, what would this trade look like, right? What would it actually look like if this was my plan, right? And it just saves a ton of time. It's a really cool tool, at least in my personal opinion. So hopefully that gives you some ideas uh, as far as how to use that trading view. Uh, it's a, it is a pretty handy little tool if you, you know a couple little tricks on it. I always like to share a couple tricks uh, as we are talking about these reports. But at the end of the day, even if you never use the actual chart, which is fine if you don't, uh, you're probably going to find a couple trade ideas in there that you want to add to your personal watch list each and every week. And that's really what it's designed for, right? It's designed for what you like. If you don't like a setup in there, that's okay. If you don't like uh, a stock in a particular sector, maybe you're overexposed energy. You don't need to add another energy stock. So COP and EOG are just things that you just don't feel like have a place in, in your current watch list. No big deal. It's not about what you don't like. It's about what you do like. Right. We want to make sure you have some quality trade ideas each and every week going into the upcoming market. Uh, so that is going to be our report. Again, you can expect these to be delivered to you by Saturday afternoon. So you have plenty of time to get through them before the market opens back up. As we get wrapping up here, just a couple of other ways that you can connect with, uh, with the community. Uh, our clubhouse is kind of our own personal social media, for lack of a better way to put it. Uh, it's a place where members of our community can, can bounce ideas around with one another, kind of in a you know, forum-y type of environment, ask questions if they're struggling with something or looking for something, just share what's going on, whatever the case might be. You're certainly more than welcome to join us over there in the clubhouse. It's just trading. It's just us. So if you're one of those uh, folks like myself who don't really love social media, Clubhouse is a nice alternative 
because, well, I'm just talking trading with, with people who like to trade. I can do that. Uh, we're also active on the more traditional social media platforms, LinkedIn, Instagram, of course, here on YouTube, in addition to our you know, live streams, which is, you know, one of the probably the thing that we're known most for, you know, our halftime report, our Wednesday night trade masters webinar. Uh, we also have a whole lot of other content over on our YouTube channel. We're always looking to add more as well. Uh, we've got, you know, how to's, walkthroughs, tutorials, an entire playlist on Thinkorswim tutorials. So, uh, you know, if you are a fan of, of YouTube, certainly I would appreciate uh, you joining us over there and, and doing the old subscribe and notification thing. If uh, if you uh, are a fan of YouTube, uh, we're active over on Facebook. I'm not a Facebook user, but I do know we have a, 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 a Team Tackle Facebook group where they can bounce ideas around with one another. So if you are a user of Facebook and there's nothing wrong with that, it's just not for me. I certainly invite you to join the team over there. I'm more of a Twitter guy. Uh, if, if, if anything, it's another great way that, you know, interesting charts, you know, crosses my path during the market day, whether I find it on my own, one of the other coaches bring it up, one of the members of a community say, hey, Frank, check out this. Uh, if it's a clean chart, I can take a quick picture, throw it up on Twitter, let people know what's going on at Tackle Trading, you know, up, you know, stocks that are moving and shaking, all that type of fun stuff. So certainly invite you to join us on any of these platforms, if you are using them, would love to have you. Uh, if you ever need anything, team at tackletrading.com is a great way to get in touch with us. There's a lot of ways to reach out. And, and so if you ever find yourself struggling or lost or anything like that, you know, get in that lounge and ask, get in the Wednesday night lounge and ask, uh, hit me up in the clubhouse or on Twitter or ask in the Facebook group or send us an email. There's a lot of ways to get some help if you need it. There's no shame in needing help. That's what we're built around, right? Helping each other out. No one's going to judge you. No one's going to be mad that, oh, not you again. We're happy to help all of us. I think that's true for, I know it's true for me. I know it's true for all the other coaches. And I strongly believe it's true for every member of our community as well. So reach out if you need something. Don't be afraid to build your own tackle trading. Uh, there's a lot of content here. There's a lot of things that you can do and you can do as much as you'd like or, as, you know, take it as slow as you need to, right? The, you know, a brand new trader probably uses tackle trading a little bit different than somebody who's been around the market for two years. That's not a good or a bad thing. It's just probably true. <laughs> and so don't be afraid to build out your own tackle trading. You're a brand new trader. Well, you know, the, the seven step guy, the technical analysis 101, doing some virtual trades with some of the things that you're finding in the stock report, you know, getting comfortable using that journal. Those things might be the most important thing. Maybe you've been trading for, for a few years and, and, you know, you've been buying calls and puts and want to kind of expand out your option playbook. Well, you know, you're probably going to spend a little bit more time in that playbook, maybe a little bit more time in the cash flow club and things like that. Right. It's okay to build your own tackle trading. I encourage everybody to do so. Right. I, we have members of the team that are in literally every show. Uh, but that's not all, and that's not for everybody, right? That's awesome that they are, and certainly welcome you to be one of them, but you don't have to be by any means. Ladies and gentlemen, that'll do it for tonight, but I thank you so much for your time, and if you just joined us, uh, certainly appreciate you being here. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. I will definitely be seeing you around. If you're just checking us out, want to see what we're all about, certainly appreciate you as well. We do have a standing offer of a free 15-day trial. You'll find in the description of any of our YouTube videos. So you can come in, see what the back end looks like and if it would be a good fit. So I certainly invite you to join us. Uh, but regardless, I certainly appreciate your time hanging out with me today and hopefully gave everybody a better idea of what's going on over here at Tackle Trading, where to find it, gave you a few ideas. It has been my pleasure hanging out with you this evening. I'll let you get out of here, but I thank you so much. Welcome to the team. It is great to have you with us. Have a wonderful Monday night. Have a great week, both in and out of the market. And I will look forward to seeing you all again very, very soon. Good night, everyone.